hi, how can I help you? Hi, before we start the ordering process, I just want to let you know that I am vegetarian. I don't know if you know what that means, but I don't eat meat. So just wanted to let you know. Yes, I do know what vegetarian means. Um, no worries. We have a lot of menu items that we can either make vegetarian or are vegetarian already. That's perfect and all, but I already know what I want. I want a Caesar salad, obviously no chicken, no dressing, and can I have it with extra microgreens, kale, and spinach, please? So I don't have any microgreens, unfortunately, but I can do no dressing, kale, and spinach. No microgreens. Uh, okay, well, it tastes a little bit different, I guess. It's fine. Um, for my boyfriend over here, he wants the exact same thing, so I guess no microgreens, but kale and spinach, but he wants extra dressing and chicken, extra chicken. All right, perfect. And was this going to be for here to go? To go. No problem. Um, since it is to go, I'm going to go ahead and have them write chicken and no chicken on the salads themselves, just so there's no mix up. Yeah, that would be appreciated. All right. And you guys are good to go. And, and you're going to bring us our food when it's ready, correct? No, we're going to have you come pick up your food when your name is called. Your boyfriend gave me his name right at the beginning. Yeah, that was nice of him, but I didn't hear that. So go ahead and call my name. It's Carmen. All right. Well, we will call Carmen when it's ready. We call her name about twice. She doesn't come up. And about two minutes later, she comes up to me and says this. Excuse me. Um, pretty sure we ordered food. Just wondering when it was going to be ready. Oh, it's actually already ready. It's right up there for you. Oh, well, thanks for bringing it to us when it was ready. No problem. She comes back up like three or four minutes later, absolutely fuming. Excuse me. But yeah, I need to speak to your manager immediately. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Don't say anything else to me. Just go get your manager. Hey, manager. Yeah, Julian. What's up? There's a lady who's really pissed off, no idea why. Okay, well, could you maybe figure out why? Because I'm not leaving this office unless I absolutely have to. If I'm taking a wild guess, she told me that she's vegetarian, her husband ordered something that was not vegetarian, and I'm guessing she probably ate it or something. I don't know. All right, just... Give me like two seconds. Okay, yeah, she's waiting up front. I'm gonna go ahead and go on break and you can just tell me the tea afterward. I will tell you, just... Go take a break. Hi, ma'am. Was there something I can help you with? I specifically told your cashier that I was vegetarian. Specifically, I told her multiple times, and yet my food came out with meat on it. Okay, did you and your husband order the same thing? We ordered the same salad, but I'm vegetarian, so I ordered no chicken on mine, and I got chicken on mine. He didn't have any meat on his. Interesting. Okay, so what I'm looking at is yours says chicken, and his says no chicken. So could you maybe switch those? So yours is what you ordered and his is what he ordered? No, I'm not eating any more of your food. I want a refund. No, I'm not giving you a refund because you ate your boyfriend's food that is clearly marked. So there's nothing else. Have a great day. They ended up leaving and left a mess on their entire table. Hi, thanks for calling the place I work at. This is Julian. Now, can I help you? Hello, I was wondering if you guys will gift cards. Yeah, we do. Great, I'll be there in about 30 minutes to pick one up. Okay, I will see you soon. Hi, how can I help you? Hi, I'm here to get your gift card deal. I'm sorry, our gift card deal? Yeah, you guys sent out an email about it, so I'm here to get the gift card deal. I'm not really familiar with a gift card deal that we're having right now. Would you be able to show me the email that you got? <sighs> the deal, right here. So that email is from December 14th of last year, of 2022. No, I got this email today, and the email says that if I buy $30 worth of gift cards, you will give me a $10 free gift card. So that's a deal that we normally do around the holidays. That's not something we do in March. Um, and because that email, it says the date right there, it's from December 14th of 2022. I can't honor that deal. And on top of that, we don't even have the gift cards we use for that because they're Christmas themed because we only do it around the holidays. But I specifically called and asked if you guys will gift cards and you told me yes. Which is no problem. I can gladly give you a $30 gift card. You're just not going to get the free $10 gift card because we're not doing that deal right now. So you're telling me that even though I have the email that states that you guys do this and I drove all the way here and I called, you're still not going to honor the deal. Yes, that is correct because the email that you're showing me is from December 14th of last year. We only do that around the holidays. And when you called, you specifically asked for gift cards if we sell them, not if we're doing a deal right now. If you guys want to lie to your customers and send out a deal and then not honor that deal, that's on you guys. But personally, I'm done coming here because I'm done being lied to. Okay, that's fine. Have a good day. I also will be writing a review about this business. That is totally fine. She ended up writing a review, which said that she called and asked specifically about the deal. We told her that we would honor it. And then when she got into the store, we told her that we decided we weren't going to honor it anymore. Left out literally everything. Hi, ladies. Welcome in. Is there anything I can help you guys with today? 
Okay, no worries. I will let you guys look at the menu and then if you need anything, just ask me or Sam. Okay, a few minutes later. Hey, Sam, I'm gonna go ahead and go on break. The two women right there have not been helped. Um, anytime I try to talk to them, they just give me a weird look. So I'm gonna go on break, just letting you know. Girl, I got it, no problem, go on break. Okay, thanks. Hey, Jillian, now that you're back from break, uh, the manager wants to talk to you, so I don't know. I don't think you're in trouble. They just want to talk to you. Okay, thank you. Hey, manager, you want to see me? Hey, Jillian, yeah, I just wanted to talk to you about two older women that came in earlier, like, right before you went on break. You didn't even, like, end up helping them. Sam ended up helping them. Oh, yeah, they were a little odd. So can you tell me what happened with them? Yeah, but not a lot happened. They came in, I said, hi, welcome in, um, and then I asked them if they needed any help. They just stared at me i asked again they stared at me so i went on break because you told us to and i asked sam to help them see that sounds more right than what they told me they talked to you what did they say first let me just tell you that you're not in trouble and i'm not going to do this but they wanted to file a formal complaint against you because you yelled at them right when they walked through the door uh yeah i did not yell at them the only thing i said that was a little bit louder than my normal tone of voice was hi welcome in and it wasn't even loud no, I figured. Um, I'm pretty sure they're still in the building though, so when they go to leave, don't say have a good day, don't say anything, because I don't want them to feel like you're yelling at them. But you're not in trouble, I just wanted to let you know the situation. Okay, well, thanks for the heads up. I go back up front, and obviously there's people leaving the building, and so I'm saying bye, have a nice day, and then these two women walk by and I say nothing. Literally nothing. It looks something like this. Bye, have a good day, thanks for coming in. They realized that I didn't yell at them this time, but they came up and asked for the manager. And so the manager had to come out and they were saying this to my manager. Hi ladies, you asked for me again? We're just confused on why that same employee that we complained about earlier, one is still working here. And number two, why is she telling everybody to have a good day and not us? Well, ma'am, that's actually my fault. Um, one, I was not gonna fire her. And number two, I didn't want you guys to feel like you were being yelled at again. So I told her not to say anything else to you. Well, I just think that's disrespectful. I'm sorry you feel that way. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, this place is just very disappointing. Okay, have a nice day. After that, they just left. Hey Jillian, I just want to let you know that somebody named Samantha's gonna come in. She's getting a refund because she didn't like her food from yesterday, but you still need to ask for a receipt and the card she paid with. But other than that, she's taken care of. Okay, no problem, I got it. Like an hour later. Hi, I'm Samantha. I talked to a manager about getting a refund for yesterday. Yep, I can go ahead and get you taken care of right here. I just need the card that you paid with and your receipt. I don't have my receipt. Okay, do you have like an account with us, like a rewards account? Yeah, it's um 432-432-4432. Okay, perfect. So it says that you haven't eaten here in a month. Are you saying that I'm lying? No, I'm just saying that our system doesn't have your order from yesterday. Did you maybe come with somebody? Like, did you use their phone number instead? I was with my friend yesterday and Yao used her phone number. Okay, perfect. What's her phone number? It's 432-432-4431. Okay. Yep, there it is. All right, and then I need the card that you paid with. Oh, well, I don't have that either. I didn't pay for it. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, I didn't pay for it. My friend paid for it. We came here yesterday, and I got a salad, and she got a sandwich, but she wasn't really feeling her sandwich, and I really wasn't feeling my salad, so we switched. But she, yeah, she ended up paying for it, but I didn't, I didn't pay for it. Wait, so you're telling me, so did you end up getting something to eat that you liked? Yeah, when we switched, it was really good. Okay, and she was the one who paid for it, yes? Yes, I just said that. Okay, I, I can't give you a refund. The manager said you could. I could have given you a refund if you paid for it, but you didn't pay for it. It's on your friend's card that she used. Okay, then just give me cash. I can't just give you cash out of the cash register. It has to go back on the card that you paid with. Um, and because your friend paid for it, I can't just give you money out of the cash register. So you're telling me that I came all the way out here to get a refund and I can't even get my refund? I can't even get my money back? Yeah, because... It's not your money. You didn't pay for it. You know what? Go tell your manager this, and I bet they'll be able to come out and help me. Okay. Manager, funny story. So the woman who you said that I was supposed to give a refund to, Samantha, um, yeah, she's here, and she wants a refund. Right. You got it. Good job. Oh, I wasn't finished. The issue is that she didn't even end up paying for her food. Her friend did. So she wants a refund for something she did not pay for. Wait, you're telling me that the card that she told me that she paid with isn't even her card. We can't give her a refund for something she didn't pay for. Yeah, I know. And she wants to talk to you. So I'll just come out here. 
Finally, hi, I'm Samantha. I'm the one who you talked to on the phone who you said that you give a refund to. Yeah, your employee over here won't give me a refund. Yes, that's because you said you paid for the meal and now you're telling my employee that you didn't pay for it, that your friend paid for it. Yes, my friend paid for it. Why is that so important? Because we can't give you a refund for something you didn't pay for. Then why did I come all the way out here? I honestly don't know. She ended up leaving. She wasn't mean. It was just such a weird conversation that she wanted a refund for something that she didn't pay for. Very odd. Hi, how can I help you? Hi, yesterday I came in and the gentleman in front of me um, ordered a coffee and the cashier just gave it to him for free. So I'm here for one of those. Okay, well, we don't give people free things because they ask. It's more like we give people free things when they're having a bad day or we can tell they're going through something. It's supposed to be unexpected and, you know, like to make them feel better. Okay, I'm having a bad day, so I'm here to get something free. And ultimately, it is up to the cashier if they want to give you something free or not. And I personally have a rule that if somebody asks for something free, I don't give it to them. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be giving you anything free today. So you're just telling me you get to pick and choose whoever you want to give something free to? Yes, that is exactly right. And like I said, I am not going to be giving you anything free today. So what can I help you with? Well, I think it's a little bit biased that you get to just give people free stuff and pick and choose who you want to give free stuff to. Okay. Um, well, that's why you should always be nice to a cashier because you never know if they'll give you something free. But like I said, I'm not giving anything free today. So what can I help you with? I don't have my wallet on me. So if you're not going to give me something free, then I'm going to leave and you'll just lose money. Okay. <laughs> what was that about? And why were they asking for something free? Well, apparently this lady overheard that someone yesterday gave this gentleman a free coffee. And so she was here for one of those. But I told her that it's up to the cashier ultimately um, who we give free stuff to. And because she was asking, I was not going to give her anything free. So, and then she said that I was losing money by not giving her something free. Don't ask me. I don't know. Everybody knows you don't ask for something free. It's like an unwritten rule or something. But I was actually the one who gave that dude a free coffee yesterday. Um, his wife was sick and he was out to get her medicine. And I thought that was really sweet. So I just gave him a coffee. He, he was really appreciative. So. Exactly. That's why I told her that if you're nice to cashiers, you might get something free. So, I don't know. She left. That's so weird. Hi, how can I help you? I just want a Pepsi. That's it. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. Unfortunately, we are out of Pepsi this morning. But that's the whole reason I came here. I'm sorry. I know that's probably really frustrating. Uh, we do have other drinks, though. We have other sodas. We have teas. We have coffee. We have water. I'll just take a different soda and make it large. Sure. No worries. That will be $2. You're still going to make me pay for it? Well... Yeah, so you still have to pay for a drink if you're getting a drink. But you didn't have what I wanted. I understand that, but you're still getting something to drink, so I still have to charge you for it. Unless you don't want anything to drink anymore. Fine. You guys are out of Pepsi and you still make me pay. Thank you. Alright, well here's that large cup. You have a great day. Watch this woman go down to the soda fountain, see that the Pepsi's out, and go talk to my coworker about how she was not told that the Pepsi was out, and that she wants to talk to a manager because she was not informed of this correctly. My coworker then told me to go grab the manager because she was busy at the time, which was completely fine because I had to explain this to the manager anyway. Hey, manager, what are you drinking? Hmm. It's my greens. What's up, Jillian? There's a customer that wants to talk to you. Okay, about what? I had this lady come up and try to order a Pepsi. I told her we didn't have any. She complained. We had a whole conversation about how she was frustrated that we didn't have Pepsi. I told her we had other drinks. She ordered another drink. She went over to the soda fountain saw we didn't have Pepsi and then complained to my coworker that I didn't inform her correctly that we didn't have Pepsi. So now she wants to talk to you. All right, I'll be right there. Hi ma'am, was there something I could help you with? I obviously ordered a Pepsi and you guys are out of Pepsi and I was not informed of this. Okay, so did you want a refund? Well, I'm just confused why nobody told me about this so I should get a free drink. I had to pay for this and I paid for a Pepsi that you guys don't even have. So I actually already know that my employee explained that we didn't have Pepsi this morning. So if you want, I can gladly give you a refund for that, but I'm not going to give you a refund. But so since you already paid for that cup, you can go ahead and get whatever you wanted because you did pay for it. But if not, I'm going to go ahead and get you a refund and you can be on your way. I'll just get a drink because I'm not going to have another conversation with your employee over there. Perfect. You have a great day then. She ended up getting a drink and then leaving, um, but she did give me a really dirty look as she walked out because I'm guessing that her plan of getting a free drink just didn't work. Thanks for calling the place I work at. This is Jillian. How can I help you? Hi, I need to order some plain bagels for tonight. Okay, how many were you thinking and what time were you going to pick them up? I want six plain bagels for 7 p.m. tonight. All right, perfect. That will be 7.50 and I can go ahead and take your payment over the phone today. Oh, no, I'd rather not. 
So unfortunately, I do have to have you pay to get this order. You can either pay online if you're not comfortable with paying over the phone or pay on the phone just with me. It's kind of an incentive to get people to come pick up their food, you know, late. I guess I'll just pay over the phone with you. It's kind of ridiculous, but whatever. Okay, perfect. She goes ahead and she gives me your payment information. And just to let you know, we will give you a courtesy call at 7.30 just in case you're not here or you may have forgotten. But if you're not in the store by 7.59, you will have to pick up your order tomorrow. Yes, I know how orders work. You really didn't have to give me all of that information. Okay, well, uh, I will see you at 7 o'clock tonight. Great. At 7.30, she's still not here, so I give her a call. Hello? Hi, this is Jillian with the place I work at. Um, I have an order for you for six bagels for 7 o'clock tonight, and it's now 7.30. I just was wondering if you're still wanting to come pick those up. Well, obviously, I paid for them. Okay, well, I just wanted to let you know that they're still here, and if you're not here in the next 29 minutes, you're going to have to pick them up tomorrow because we will be closed at 8. Yes, I know that. I will be there. Uh, okay. At 7.57, this woman calls. Hello, thanks for calling the place I work at. This is Jillian. How can I help you? Hi, are you the one that took my order for the bagels? Yes, that was me. Okay, great. I just wanted to let you know that I'll be there in 15 minutes. Unfortunately, that's not going to work. If you're not here in the next two minutes in the store, you will have to pick them up tomorrow. Uh, no. You told me that if I paid for them, I could come pick them up. No, I told you that we take payment as an incentive to have people come pick them up. But I also told you that if you are not in store by 7.59, you will have to pick them up tomorrow morning. Well, whether you like it or not, I will be there in 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, and we will be closed, so have a great night. So by the time we had left, she still hadn't shown up yet, but the next morning, guess who came in? And guess who was working? Hi, how can I help you? Are you the one who took my order yesterday and then decided to close the store even though I had paid for my order so I couldn't come pick it up? Yes, we closed the store at 8 like I said we would, but I went ahead and I put your bagels back, you know, just in case you did show up, so I already have those if you want them. Yes, of course I want them, and it's really frustrating that I couldn't come pick up my order last night. Well, ma'am, I did tell you multiple times that we closed at 8, and if you were not in the store at 7.59, you would have to pick up your bagels this morning. I gave you a courtesy call at 7.30 last night, and you told me you'd be there, and then you called me at 7.57 saying you'd be there in 15 minutes. So, unfortunately, we close at 8 no matter what. Well, I just think as a customer, I should be able to come get something, especially if I paid for it. Yes, you can definitely come get something while we're open. So here are your bagels. You have a great day. Next time, I'll just order online. Okay, as long as you pick up while we're open. Hi, how can I help you? I have been coming here all the time for the past six months. For the past six months, I have ordered the same breakfast sandwich. Bacon, egg, and cheese. Should be easy enough. And for the past five months, it has not tasted good. Okay. Aren't you going to do anything about it? Like, it hasn't tasted good for five months. Have you thought about ordering something else? I don't want to order something else. Don't you think I would have thought of that? If I wanted to order something else, I would have. Right. So, I'm sorry, what do you want me to do about this? Oh, that's not even the half of it. When I was leaving your drive through today, after ordering the sandwich that just isn't good anymore, I hit your curb, which is, by the way, terribly placed. And so now I have to go get my tire fixed because of you guys. Sir, it's not our fault that you hit the curb. You are obviously no help. Can I speak to somebody who's just not you? No, I'm not going to go get my manager and have you tell him that you've been ordering the same thing for the past five months, even though you don't think it's good, but yet you still order it. And I'm also not going to have you yell at him because you were the one who hit your tire on the curb. What do you want us to do about that? You don't get to make the decision whether or not I talk to a manager. If I want to talk to a manager, I get to talk to one. I am the customer. The customer is always right. Not in this situation where you're literally complaining about things that are your fault. So if you want to talk to a manager, you can go ahead and call him later, but I am not grabbing him for you. Fine, I'll be calling then. So according to my friend, he never called the manager or anything, but he definitely hit the curb. There was a giant black mark where he had hit the curb, so. Hey Becky, how are you? Oh girl, I'm good. I have a little surprise for you. I may have been eavesdropping. What are you talking about? Well, I overheard some of your coworkers talking about how today is your 21st birthday. Um, so I got you like a little, like a little goodie bag. Oh, it doesn't have to do that. It's not a lot, but I still think you would like it. And so there's some like candy in there and then there's a surprise at the bottom. Okay. Um, gummy bears. I love gummy bears. Okay. Oh, I know you're studying to be a teacher and I think it's really important to have sticky notes and why not have a cute little holder for them? You know, thank you so much. Of course. Have a happy 21st. I know that you said that your birthday was sometime this week and I don't know if I have the right day, but I want to give you a gift. Oh, well, you don't have to. Uh, I I wanted to, and uh, don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> Thanks, I'll, I'll save this. Mm, I knew you were smart. Well, have a good day, darling.
even when I have bad days, there are still customers who are absolutely wonderful. So I'm going to tell you guys a quick story time when I was about six months into my job. So one day this man calls and he's like, hey, I need 30 BLTs for the next day at 12 p.m. And I said, okay, no problem. And he says, I want them individually bagged and I want the name of the person on the bag. And I was like, okay, no problem. We can have that ready for you at 12 p.m. This man then spends the next two minutes telling me how rich he is and how he made his money. And then on top of that, telling me that he's going to give us a really big tip as long as we get it done by 12 p.m. or earlier. So the next day we start his order and we're almost done and it's 11.30 and this man calls. And he's like, hi, yes, I need 19 more BLTs. I still want them individually bagged with the individual's name on it and you still have till 12 p.m. Now keep in mind, that is giving us 30 minutes to make 19 more sandwiches, plus we do have the lunch rush starting. So I tell him, I'm like, okay, um, this may take a little bit longer than 12 p.m. We'll try to get it as close to 12 p.m. as we can, but it may take a few minutes over because you know, you're giving us a 30 minute heads up. He then spends the next 30 seconds yet again telling me how rich he is and how big of a tip that we're gonna get if we can get it done by 12 p.m. And if we can't, we're not only not getting a big tip, but we obviously don't know how to run a business. I tell him at this point, it really doesn't matter about the tip. I'm just informing you that, hey, it may take a few minutes after 12 because you're giving us a 30 minutes heads up for 19 more sandwiches. He then tells me that I better get started and hangs up the phone. I freak out, I go to my coworkers about it, we start working on these sandwiches, and this man shows up at 11.50, 10 minutes before he was supposed to, and tells us that we're not gonna get a tip because we're taking too long, the food's taking too long, the service is terrible, just absolutely throwing a fit. And I have to explain to him that we still have 10 minutes, we're almost done, it should be ready by 12. We ended up finishing at 11.58 or something like that. Like we had two or three minutes to spare. We handed him his order and we also handed him a piece of paper that had a like line to fill out the tip and a signature that said he spent $215 yeah, on sandwiches. I just want you to guess what tip he left. I'll give you guys a second. On a $215 order that he wanted 49 sandwiches individually bagged with people's names on them, 19 of which he only gave us a 20 minute heads up. And when he got there at 11.50, 10 minutes before he was supposed to, he threw a fit that the food wasn't ready. He gave us a $2.50 tip. Before you guys run to the comments and be like, well, I can't believe you're complaining about a tip. You already get paid. Um, it wasn't about the tip at that point. It was literally just hilarious to all of us that he boasted about how rich he was and how big of a tip he was gonna give us if we got it done before noon, which we did. And he gave us $2.50. So if you're gonna order food, please don't do this to somebody. Ugh, my mouth tastes like salmon. Who eats fish for breakfast? Oh my god, I don't think that's fair. Why are you chugging water like a toddler? Are you okay? No! I think my soulmate's doing something that I really don't want to be a part of. What could they possibly be doing? Never mind. I thought this was cherry. Why does it taste alcoholic? Who does shots at 2 p.m., bro? Get a grip! <coughs> oh my god. Please don't tell me that was the devil's lettuce. Is my soulmate Chuck Bass? I'm so confused. Your soulmate is really putting you through it, huh? I am going through it and I'm afraid of what's next. My soulmate just ate mochi. It was so good. Oh, this one's really weird. It tastes like um like metal a little bit. Why would they eat metal? Oh my god! Hey sis, good morning. Oh, good morning. Whoa, do you have a sore throat or something? <clears throat> good morning. Why do I sound like a man? Okay, seriously, stop doing that. You're freaking me out. I don't know. I'm not trying to. Honey, relax. You have your soulmate's voice right now. I want my voice back. You have to find your soulmate to get it back. Oh, great. Hey, bestie, you're still coming to the concert with us tonight, right? Okay, good. I'm excited to see Justin in person. Don't get too excited. He canceled the whole concert. What? Why would he cancel? Whoa, why do you sound like that? Did you have an allergic reaction? I have my soulmate's voice. Oh, I kind of like it. He sounds sexy. Hold on, say something again. Hello. Am I crazy or do you sound exactly like Justin does? No way. That's probably why he canceled his concert. He has your voice. We need to find him. What? <laughs> I guess he's gonna be extra comfortable at school. Dude, I have some tea. Why are you yelling? It's seven in the morning. Did you hear about the new kid today? 
No, what new kid? He's like a super famous male model. So? Everyone is obsessing over him, he's so cute. <laughs> a man bun? Oh, you know I'm picking that. I should have guessed that you were gonna be mean to your soulmate. I am not being mean to him. You're making him wear a man bun. <laughs> hey, why is everyone freaking out down the hall? That has to be the new kid. He must have just gotten here. Wow. I'm gonna go see what he looks like in person. You can go do that. I'm gonna go to class. Looks like it's time to go barefoot. Wow, that's an interesting outfit. Everyone, this is our new student, Connor. He'll be joining the class. Have a seat next to Bailey. Oh, I get it. Everyone's starstruck over me. Mm-hmm. Please like short girls. Please like short girls. Oh. 5'7 with black hair and emo. <laughs> I am none of those things. Um, are you okay? Why are you making that face? My soulmate doesn't like me. You haven't even met yet. Plus, I have never met anyone who didn't like you. Apparently them. I'm not 5'7 and I can't grow. Please, I'm sure it's not that much of a deal breaker that you're short. Yeah, if I go get surgery to make my eyes blue. You are so dramatic. Calm down. Bailey, if your soulmate doesn't want you, I'll take you. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna throw up. Hey, don't you want a piece of this? You say one more word, I'm gonna go fart on your pillow. Ooh, please do. That sounds kind of hot. Ugh, I wish that my soulmate would be Megan Fox. Who doesn't have a crush on Megan Fox? She's just so perfect. I love her black hair and the blue eyes. Plus, she's the perfect height. Please don't put me in 2007 again. Oh, great. We went even further back in time? Wow, that is a lot of glitter. And why are my lips so pale? Bailey, your makeup looks so good today. I love the eyeshadow. Uh, yeah, thanks. I think my mom's gonna get us the new gaming system coming out. What gaming system? It's called the Xbox 360. I'm excited. That sounds super cool. Can't wait. It's so futuristic. Wait, do you guys know who Taylor Swift is? No, does she go to school here or something? Ugh, I love Kanye West so much. You like Kanye West? Yeah, his new song, Gold Digger, just came out. I am obsessed with it. Mm. Could you feed my Tamagotchi while I go to the bathroom? I don't want it to die. I would love to. Want to come over after school? We're going to drink beer and watch VHS tapes. You know what? I'm good. Okay, I just want 2011. What? 2002? I was an infant. What happened to my eyebrow? What are you talking about? They look great. I have like six hairs left. Yeah, thin eyebrows are all the rage right now. I love them. Do you at least have something to fix my lips? Why would you need to fix them? You're already wearing lip gloss. Now let's go. Please tell me you're not using a Nokia. This is the best phone on the market right now. What else would I use? I have the biggest crush on Justin Timberlake. Who's your crush? Uh, Harry Styles. Who the hell is Harry Styles? He was a skater boy, she said, see? You know that song? Yeah, it came out like a month ago. I'm so obsessed with it. I keep hearing it on the radio. Yeah, me too. You, everyone run. It's Jessica. She is so emo. What's wrong with being emo? 2011, at least I can have an iPhone now. Avril, what are you doing? We're gonna be late. Where am I? Hey, are you ready yet? We have to leave for your interview, like now. Interview about what? Don't play dumb about your new single, What the Hell? Give me one second. I thought I was waking up in different years, not different bodies. Am I a part of the conspiracy theory? I have 30 seconds, let's go. Coming. Are you sure that you're ready for this interview? You seem kind of off. Yeah, I am so ready. I've never been more ready in my life. Excuse me, Avril, I am such a big fan. Could you sign this? Sure. There you go. Um, I think that you spelled your name wrong. No, I didn't. Everyone, please welcome Miss Avril Levine. How do you feel about the release of your new single? Good. Uh, how was your experience making this song in the studio? Ah, great. How do you feel about being so iconic in the pop punk space? Amazing. I'm scared to even look. 2012, why would I need to be in 2012? Taylor, are you done in there? We need to go. Who's Taylor? Don't tell me I'm in someone's body again. Miss Swift, you've been in there 40 minutes. Miss Swift, no. There you are. The car is waiting for you outside. Where are we going? To your live performance. Don't tell me you forgot. Great. You know, I'm not feeling too well. I don't think a live performance is a good idea. Are you kidding me? This is going to be huge. You have to do it. Stop goofing around. Now follow me and we can go. Mm, coming. Can't we just like switch to an interview? <laughs> what is wrong with you today? Are you feeling all right? 
Nothing, I'm fine. You have five minutes in the dressing room and then we'll be back for you. How do I get out of here right now? I think I can fit out this window. Are you trying to climb out of a window right now? No. Really, because you had your head out there. Ugh, my hair is itching my neck. Whoa! What the hell am I wearing? 2004, I want to go into the future. Sis, let's go, we're gonna be late. The car's already running. Coming. Do we play some music on the way? Oh yeah, do you have an aux cord? Um, no, what's an aux cord? I was just gonna play one of mom's CDs on the stereo. A CD sounds great. Wait, if I went back in time, that means I know the future. Sorry, did you say something? Nothing. Guys, I have something super important to tell all of you. What? What's going on? In 2007, they're gonna come out with this thing called the iPhone, and it's a phone with no buttons. You just touch the screen. That is so cool. How do you know about the future? I have powers. Are there any flying cars in the future? No, but they're self-driving cars. Come on, don't stop now. Tell us something else. Also, I'm gonna be a rock star with a single called Romance is Dead. No way, can I get an autograph? Please put me in the future. Ugh. Why do I look like a little lad? Hey, wait, are you that girl who can look into the future? Yes, I am. Can you please tell me if me and my boyfriend will still be together? I really like him. For $20. Okay, deal. You're gonna figure out that you only like women. What, how did you know that I like women? See? Uh, you're right. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go break up with him. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me something about the future? What am I, a fortune teller now? Please, just tell me anything and I will give you $60. Oh yeah, there's gonna be this massive viral disease called COVID and it's gonna kill like a lot of people in 2020. Are you serious? You can't be telling the truth. I'm telling the truth, but don't be scared. It ends up being okay in like three years. That sounds horrifying. Mm -hmm. Also, in 2023, you can pre-save my new single, Romance is Dead, with a link in my bio. I swear, if I'm in the 2000s again, finally, I'm in the future. 2035 must be so cool. Hey, sis, whoa, your phone is the size of an iPad. Duh, I have the new iPhone 46 Pro Max Mega. The what? Are you dumb? It's the best phone on the market, and they just updated the hologram feature. Hologram? Are you done being clueless? We need to get to school. I'll be out to the car in a sec. Um, we're not taking the car. We're going on our jetpacks. Ugh. Is there a different way we can go to school? I'm a little afraid of heights. Don't be silly. We rode them to school yesterday. Wait, why are we going to the back of the school? We do this every day so people won't swarm you. Bailey, can I please have an autograph? An autograph?